Robert Kozelik. If you're one of the buyers of our Easy Foiler Foil, congratulations, thanks for your business. Um, you know, the Easy Foiler comes with an instruction uh, sheet here, which explains how to put it together, but I'm just gonna make a little video to show you how to do it. Uh, it comes with all the screws and so on that you need. You do also need to have a rubber mallet and a number three Phillips head screwdriver if you're using a Tuttle box. So, um, comes in different parts, the mast, the fuselage, the front wing and the back wing. So let's start by putting the fuselage in the front wing. And I'm just gonna leave it in the nylon cover for now. But you insert the fuselage into the front wing. And then you kinda have to bang it. Um, you have to bang it in with the rubber mallet to get it to go, get it, go in tightly. And then when you look at the screw inserts inside the fuselage, they should match up with the holes on the front wing. So I'm gonna have to bang it in a little bit more. And this is intentionally very tight fitting here because you don't want any play in this connection. You insert the two screws and tighten on those two screws. And these are set screws, they should go in easily. Um, we always recommend lubricating them with an anti-seize lubricant so that uh, you know so that they don't seize up especially if you don't take it apart every time um, you want to uh, make sure you put some lubricant in there um, to keep the parts from seizing up the metals and especially if you're using it in the ocean you know obviously so we, we tight we're going to tighten these two down okay we'll make sure they're nice and tight okay so next i'm going to put the tail wing on same idea the stripes are on the bottom. I'm gonna put this on. Might have to bang it a little bit, the tight, usually not as tight on the back wing. And then the smaller screws go in here. Okay, so once I have the wings attached to the fuselage, now it's time to put in the mast. So you have to make sure the more rounded edge goes to the front, slide it in. And this is uh, intentionally a, a nice tight fit. Make sure it goes all the way in. And then use the, the longest set screws and screw the mast in to the fuselage here. Okay, so once you have everything tightened down, maybe set it down on the ground, check, make sure everything's stiff, there's no movement. No back and forth, left to right, everything's nice and stiff and rigid. And then now we're ready to put the foil on the board. If you bought the foil board and our foil together, it comes with the right size A6 um, screws that you need. Stainless steel screws that go into the Tuttle. If you have a different board, you might have to get a different length uh, set of screws to fit the size of your board. And then um, just gonna flip it over to the side. I got the um, two M6 stainless steel bolts um, and a Phillips head number three Phillips head screwdriver that fits the um, screw heads properly. And uh, I'm gonna um, insert them through the deck, inserts on the deck, and, uh, and then I, these ones screw into the uh, mast head. If, it, if the screw doesn't go in, you just have to check the connections between the um, Tuttle and the screw. Once you have it set up properly, it should be really easy to get the screws into the into the Tuttle head. So and you want to make sure you screw it in really tight. If the foil sticks out a little bit on the bottom, it's no big deal. Or if it goes in a little bit deeper, it basically tightens itself into the box by pushing against the front and the back of the box, which is angled a little bit. So wherever it sits tightly, that's where you want it to be. Um, so tighten it down really good, but front and back. Sometimes it kind of pulls itself in deeper while, as you're screwing it, so just kind of check the screws. Another good way to check it is put your board upside down, put your foot on it, push on the front wing, push on the tail wing, you see that mine is still kind of sliding a little bit, so I'm gonna tighten it down some more. So you want, you want your Tuttle uh, insert to fit really tight in your board. If it's hard to get in, that's actually a good thing. You might want to lubricate it a little bit to get it in. If it's impossible to get in, you might have to sand it a little bit to make it fit. If it's loose in the box, 
then you have to shim the side so it should be really tight in the box. But now, now it's in tight, I can't move it anymore. You always do this check before you take it in the water and you're good to go. Ready to try foiling. All right, thanks for watching. It's Robert with Blue Planet.